low, right? My name is Lori White. That was my mother-in-law, and I'm the one that's not going to get to build my garage any bigger. Anyway, um, what I have to say is two things. Number one, first of all, the plan as it is written is a very poorly written piece of legislation. It is totally un, 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 un you can't understand it at all. There's no way to understand it because it contradicts itself. Prime example, as my attorney said, home occupations. You're allowed to have a home occupation, but when you have that home occupation, you're not allowed to generate traffic, you're not allowed to generate parking, you cannot emit any odor. It used to be you couldn't use any water, but thankfully they've given us a little more water, so if you want to wash a dog, you're going to be good. Problem is, if I want to have a bakery, I'm sorry, when I cook bread, it's going to emit an odor. I also can't have any parking and I can't generate any traffic. It's very contradictory. It does not make any sense. My next question is, how many of you board members have seen the letter from the uh, superintendent of the Pulaski County Special School District? Anybody? Okay. Because this letter was sent to Judge Wines on September the 30th, and it was directed for y'all to be able to see it. And it states that if the restrictions on the development are as restrictive as it is in this plan, the resident residential development in the area will be dramatically curtailed, affecting the valuable revenue source through ad valorem taxes for Pulaski County Special School District. Even the school district is against this draft. They think it is going to restrict it to the point that people are not going to buy land out there and build their homes out there and send their schools to the district schools and they don't get any taxes from that. Instead, people are going to go to Saline County, Perry County, and Lone Oak County instead of coming to Pulaski County, even though it's the prettiest place there is in Arkansas. <laughs> My other question to y'all is, how would you like it? If somebody was trying to impose these rules and regulations, this strenuous of rules and regulations on your property, I don't, you can say that it would be okay, but I honestly think the day would come that you would say, uh uh, you're not coming after my land. You're not going to take my property value away from me and tell me I'm not going to get anything for it, and then I still have to pay the taxes on it. Bottom line is, this needs to be tabled, and we that's all we're asking for. Judge Valines, I know, is putting pressure on y'all to push this through. He put enough pressure on CAW that they voted yes last night, and it was very disappointing to see that happen. I'm asking you, y'all are for us. I live in the county. I live in the watershed. If you're for us, then do this for us. We want clean water. We want prohibitive uses. But we don't want to be restricted to the point that we can't do anything on our land. My house is grandfathered in, but all I can do is sit in my house and twiddle my thumbs. And if I sell it, the person I sell it to, all they can do is sit in their house and twiddle their thumbs. It's not going to be worth anything to them for that. So I'm asking you, table this. Do not send this to the Corn Court today. Thank you.